Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and efficiently add a checkbox to a table. So similar to my last couple of videos, you cannot do a checkbox inside of a table that's just inline on your page. You must use a database. That's okay though. Databases are great. If you're not using databases in Notion, you are probably not using Notion anywhere near to, to its full capacity. So if you'll see right here, you can't do it. You can't do any commands inside the table, so you cannot do checkboxes inside of the table because it's using the to-do feature. So instead, we're going to create a database and put it on the page in a table view to allow for checkboxes. So here's how you do it. You're going to do slash table, and you're going to do a database in table view. So there's a second one down. Don't click the first one. So up your data source, you're going to do, you're going to create a new data source. So let's just say table checkbox. And now you got a new database. So you've named it table check checkbox. And let's just go to the page for it just to make it easier to set up. So you're going to click on the arrow, click on table checkbox. And now here is where you're going to do it. So let's just say item one. And you want this one to be checked. And item two, not checked. So what you're going to do is you're going to add checkboxes to this table. So you're going to click on the plus icon. You're going to have a new property. And you're going to type in checkbox. And now you got a checkbox. So now if you want to go back to your page, you will see that you have your items ready to go. So you're going to click the checkboxes. Four in this case not checked, so you won't click it. And if you need item four, item five, you can, you can do them here. So this also allows you to do other database functions. You can shrink, you can add, let's just say you don't need the tags. You can just uh, delete this property. And now you got your items, you got your checkboxes. It's all resizable. And it's nice and clean. And now your data is all you can add additional properties and information just like any other database. All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.